Hi everyone, I hope you're all really well and had a great week. Today I will be sharing one effortlessly chic spring haul for 2023, featuring a beautiful rail of pieces that are new in my wardrobe this season. So I've got a couple of new brands in here that I haven't purchased from before, so really excited to share those with you. And then I've also got a few classic favourite pieces from the likes of Mango, Revolve, Reese, John Lewis and, and other stories. As you would hope, I'm going to do a bit of a try on and show you all the different outfit ideas I would make with these pieces. So lots of outfit ideas and inspiration to share with you all today. We'd better get started. Let's start today with a new brand for me, one I've never purchased from before, and I am very excited to have finally tried them out. So Dish are an Australian brand, originally from Queensland, I think. But I kept coming back to their website because I just loved the pieces and that whole sort of effortless, laid back kind of vibe that they do really, really well. Anyway, I finally decided to give it a go and I took the leap with this order. And I almost thought I'd be a bit of a guinea pig for you all so I could see what the charges were like coming into the country from Australia. Very good news on that, I will say, but I'll tell you about that in a moment. So quality wise, I am very, very impressed with Dish. Not only is the linen that they've used for their items really lovely, really soft, not too hard, doesn't go too stiff, but a really nice touch, which I don't see very often, is that they've actually lined their pieces. So I've got a pair of trousers here, which I'll show you in a moment. They're fully lined. The skirt is fully lined. Now, as you'll have seen throughout this footage, it's obviously not quite warm enough just yet to be able to wear it. However, I like to think I'm nice and prepared for the second that sun comes out, I'm heading out in my nice linen skirt. Now, as you saw in that footage to go with it, I couldn't resist, but to get the matching waistcoat too, which makes sense when you see as well the fact that that goes beautifully together with the trousers as much as it does with the skirt. Now, waistcoats, again, are a bit of a fashion trend that we've seen an awful lot recently. And personally, I don't like them to be tight. I certainly don't like them to be you know, kind of cleavage popping over the top. That's just not my cup of tea at all. So thankfully the cut is naturally a bit more kind of effortlessly cool, slouchy kind of waistcoat rather than anything too fitted, which personally I think is a lot trendier anyhow. So then to complete my purchase of three items from Dish, I went with the matching trousers. I have, and probably need to a bit more, taken them up a little bit myself with Wonderweb. Not the best job I've ever done, I must admit. But I didn't go further this time. I thought I'll take them to my local tailor because of that lining and I didn't want that to show underneath. Now, price-wise, I would say Dish fits very much into that affordable end of the high street, probably along the similar lines of Arquette or Mango or Cos, etc. Obviously, you do have to factor in the import duty and VAT. So to keep it really basic and simple, that meant the final cost of each of these items was just under £100, which I think for a lovely sustainable brand that are doing something just a little bit different, felt really original, is really reasonably priced. So next up in this spring haul for 2023 to a couple of pieces that I got from Revolve. Now they got in touch and very kindly asked if I would like to choose a few pieces from their new spring collection. They didn't have to ask twice and I shopped away. So firstly, I went for this beautiful olive green wrap top. Now, as you will see in this footage, I did get a little bit confused how to put it on. But once I got there, I loved it. It's pretty lightweight cotton actually, but there's enough of it to go around that it's not see-through. And actually under here, you've got like a little crop top with a side zip as well. So that kind of covers your base and then the wrap is more of a detail element to it. I think this is really, really elegant and probably going with that jeans and a nice top kind of look. I do find it quite handy to have a couple of those kind of tops in my wardrobe as invariably when we go out, that's always what I end up wearing. Now, as you saw in that footage, and obviously I'm wearing them today as well, these jeans also came from Revolve. I really wanted a pair of slimmer white jeans for spring, summer. So these are what I decided on. Obviously made from cotton um, and they're from a brand called Girlfriend, which again is a new one for me to have in my wardrobe. Quality wise, I think they're lovely. The fit is exactly what I was looking for. And obviously shipping with Revolve was super quick and really easy. What I really like with this pair that made them stand out above the rest was these subtle little bits of distressed detailing. It's not too much, it's not over the top. It just gives them a point of difference, a little bit of oomph. 
Next up at Revolve, I chose this really rather stunning mini dress. Now, hopefully you'll agree there's a bit of a Parisian vibe running through this one with those lovely contrasting trims. It's been made from a knitted rayon with a tiny bit of stretch in there. I love the little black trims that it's got running through it and of course the gold button details on these faux pockets. You have got a tie waist here as well to be able to cinch it in and then just tiny little belt hooks there. So at the moment, it would probably be a black tights, Mary Jane's kind of vibe that I would go for. But then if you add a pointy toe like I have with these kitten heels here, that makes it feel a little bit more elegant and sophisticated. And then a third way I would style this dress, obviously as it gets a little bit warmer, would be with bare legs. Please do excuse the state of my legs at the moment. I am so pasty white, it's very embarrassing. But hopefully from that you get the gist of the outfit idea, how nicely it works with a pair of ballet flats. I just need a bit of a tan for that one. The next piece from Revolve would be this very tiny looking bodysuit. I did make a bit of a mistake with this and forgot about my very long body situation. I've ordered it in a small, it is a little bit tight. So if it looks like it's pulling on the arms, please don't think that that's the brand or their sizing issues. I think it's actually more me. I've got an unusually long body. I can also safely report that this goes through the washing machine very, very easily with no bother because I tried it on for the first time, got a great big smudge of lipstick all across the front and it had to go straight in the wash before I even filmed it. But I do like to have a couple of bodysuits throughout my collection, uh, be it in summer or winter actually, because it's very, very handy to be able to layer them underneath a blazer, perhaps underneath a shirt. They go really nice with the waistcoat too, actually. So when I spotted this in that lovely soft taupe tone, you know that I couldn't resist. I don't say this often enough, apparently, but if you're not already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so and join our lovely little community here of like-minded women. When you subscribe, if you just tap the bell, that will just send you one notification to let you know when I have uploaded a new video so you never miss one. Now, hopefully you agree, Reese as a brand have got that effortlessly chic style down to a T. It almost seems like the running theme of their collections, actually. So another few pieces that I was very kindly able to choose from Reese this time would be this beautiful classic tailored suit. I love the style of wearing a suit if I'm heading out for meetings or even seeing my friends for lunch, I would wear something like that. For more dress down occasions, I would pair a suit with trainers, maybe do a little turn up on the end of the trousers or something a little bit smarter, I would wear it with these neutral heels. And then of course you've got the joy that these are actually two separate pieces. So you can mix and match them as I am today, wearing the blazer with a pair of jeans. I'd style the trousers with a jumper or a t-shirt. So many different variations. I think the key thing really is getting that quality and the fit absolutely spot on and then you'll find you can make hundreds of different outfit ideas. Reese are really well known for their tailoring. So I think when it comes to investing in a beautiful blazer, that would definitely be one of the first ports of call for me. Don't know if you remember, actually, I got that beautiful mink blazer uh, from Reese. Is it Christmas time? I'm still wearing that one an awful lot as it's quite heavyweight, so it's perfect for this slightly cooler weather. And then obviously as things get a little bit warmer, this one, although it's been made from a blend of wool, is a lot lighter. So I feel like this one's going to last me throughout spring and then into summer. You could do it up if you wished. I probably never would. I like my jackets to be quite open, relaxed, shimmy up the sleeves. I like that more casual approach to tailoring, but obviously that's personal preference. So to go, with those two really beautiful separates, I chose the tank top that I'm wearing. It's got a really nice pink undertone to it, which I thought was particularly nice for all those lovely neutral outfit ideas that I like to do far too often. And then looking at them together, it really complements it perfectly, whilst obviously still being able to wear a tank with just about everything else I have on my rail. Next in this spring haul and try on for 2023, I headed to And Other Stories and I found two really beautiful pieces that I think are not only affordable, but I know I'm going to get lots of wear out of them. So first up, I went with this jumper, which I think is quite a classic And Other Stories piece. I've seen it on their website an awful lot, both through winter and now into spring, summer. And it's available, I think, in about eight different shades. I decided to go for it in this quite bright blue, actually. Actually. One, because I loved the colour. And two, I felt the need for something a little bit brighter in my wardrobe 
but something that I knew I could easily mix with neutrals. So for instance, if I get the lovely linen trousers that I got from Dish, I think that's a really nice combination together. I would wear it with my jeans. These are the organic crop ones that I got from Me and M. The cheer blues look really nice together and you'll have seen that throughout this footage as well. And then as an extension of that actually, you could do a bit of a double denim look. You've got those three different variations of blue with the jumper, the jacket and the jeans. And then just adding those little accents of black makes a nice touch. And although there were lots of beautiful pieces at And Other Stories, I didn't go mad and I just got these two pieces because they hadn't released their full spring collection just yet. I was too early for that. I'm early for everything, annoyingly, but too early for And Other Stories. So the second piece, which I'm debating whether to keep it or not, would be this bow blouse. Now I fell in love with this one because of the bow. And ironically, it's actually the bow that's making me think twice whether I keep it. When you look at these two outfit ideas, hopefully you'll see what I mean. I think when it's loose and styled with those black jeans there and a pair of slim backs, that feels like my cup of tea. It feels relaxed and I feel effortless and stylish and put together but it doesn't feel too stuffy. When I did the bow up, which is what I like about the blouse, it felt a little bit too prim for me. Perhaps it just doesn't actually work brilliantly with that particular pair of trousers, and I should try it with a different pair of tailored trousers instead. So do let me know what you think on this shirt. Label Salon, still a bit undecided. I like it relaxed, but then does that negate the idea of getting a big bow on it? So you might have noticed I've got a couple of new pairs of shoes throughout this spring haul. Firstly, to a pair that you might have already seen on my YouTube channel, but also over on Instagram, with this pair of camel mid heels that I bought from John Lewis. I really love these. I think they've got the perfect heel height to be able to wear comfortably all day long. And then the second pair came from British brand Fairfax and Favour. Now I've actually got a pair of their winter ankle boots that I have from years ago. So I knew the brand well and their quality. So I decided to go for their driving shoes. Something I knew I would get an awful lot of wear out of both through spring, but also into summer too. Now, as you would imagine, these are as ridiculously comfy as they look. They're beautifully made as always. And having chosen them in navy, I know that they'll work particularly well with my existing wardrobe. Now, now these are also available with details or hardware on the toe portion if you prefer. One thing I will say though is if you have particularly wide feet like I do, you might want to consider sizing up just to give yourself a little bit of extra room. So next up in this 2023 spring haul, it's over to a couple of pieces that I bought from Mango. Now I've had to squeeze this part in as they actually took so long to arrive, but thankfully though, at least one piece was definitely worth the wait. So let's start with the items that I'm not quite so sure about. Hopefully you can help me decide on them. So as I was talking about earlier, a bit of a leftover fashion trend, shall we say, from spring summer 2022 is of course the maxi denim skirt trend, making a big appearance across our high streets right now. So I actually ordered two different options from Mango, just so I could compare the two. The good news is that both are from Mango's circular recycle collection, which was really nice to see. The bad news is I really wish they just created a very plain version of the style with that recycled fabric. So this one here is actually option one one. It's got a traditional jeans waistband. You've got nice pockets here. And obviously you've got this split detail at the front here. What I'm not so sure about with this one is the hem. I really wish they hadn't added this darker portion to the hem. I think it would have looked so much nicer if they just left that really clean. However, I actually bought it thinking maybe I could take that up a bit so that you don't see it. And actually the skirt is definitely long enough to be able to get away with that. Now the second option with the denim maxi skirt is a bit of a curveball in all honesty because when I look at it like this, I think, what was I thinking or what were they thinking making it with this waistband? However, I really love the shape of the skirt, the length and indeed the colour. And I figured, would you really ever see much of the waistband anyway? But spring is on its way. My tops are getting a little bit lighter. Plus, of course, I do tend to tuck my tops in at least a little bit, so you might see it. So a bit of a shame with this one, really, as I do like the shape, but I don't think I can get over that waistband. Let me know what you think. 
Now on the flip side from Mango, something that I decided I'm going to keep straight away is this pocket tweed jacket. So like the skirts, these little classic style jackets will be everywhere this spring 2023. And despite them feeling particularly on trend right now, they're also a very timeless style for your wardrobe. So they're not going to date. Now they're available in four different colorways. You've got black, a crew, a sort of coral pink kind of tone, but I decided to go for the blue as I love that shade in spring. I think it really suits my coloring. Plus of course, it's just that little bit different. A very traditional style with something just that little bit different with the color feels like a nice balance. Now I did size up to a medium instead of my usual size small in this as I didn't want it feeling too cropped and coming up here. And I think actually sizing up to the medium really makes it work nicely. So all round, I am very impressed with this piece. I think I'm gonna get an awful lot of wear out of this one. Now I've squeezed a bonus outfit idea into the end of this spring haul with a couple of pieces that aren't new new as such, but they are from this year. But as I was heading out the door, I put this little combination together and I really liked it so much that I thought I'd show you all. So I'm styling a couple of pieces that I received about a month ago from Me and M. This is the Cotton Forever shirt and these are the organic crop jeans. I really love the fit and the quality of both, as I've mentioned before. So obviously they work really nice together too. And then I finished with this pretty old blazer that I actually got from the Couples a few years ago now, but I really love that military style combined with something so typically classic. I think it really works nicely. New favourite combo of these pieces for me there, so hopefully you like that one too. And that is pretty much it. Hopefully you agree, one gorgeous collection of very effortlessly chic pieces for spring 2023 that I feel very fortunate to have in my own wardrobe. I really hope you've enjoyed this haul and that my little try on has given you lots of outfit ideas and inspiration. As always, I have featured all the items I featured today in the description box below. You just tap show more and that will open that out. Have a wonderful week, everyone. I will see you on Sunday.